ran into my student from the X today. Now that sounds like a real country song, I know. <laughs> but it's the truth. As I rushed into the Kroger for a much needed item, I was stopped dead in my tracks when I saw him muttering to himself at the top of my own eye. <laughs> Thankfully, he failed to see me as I sped past, grabbed the item in question, and scurried back towards the self-checkout lanes, praying he would be absorbed in a world of comparison shopping. I politely cut in front of a fellow shopper and was done in 20.3 seconds flat. Why did my stomach jump into my chest when I saw him? I asked myself. This visceral reaction had gripped me like an overzealous relative at a family reunion, and it was quite uncomfortable, not to mention disturbing. There was a time when I would have lifted out of my clerks at the mere mention of his name. <laughs> An unexpected sighting would have set my heart racing like an overheated radiator on a sweltering day. Now, just the opposite reaction had me by the throat with no prompting or forethought. And then, when I got home, I found a Christmas card from him in my mailbox. <laughs> and I find that I'm afraid to open it. I guess it's because I know that the card it will be sentimental and pitiful, like a bargain basement shirt that <laughs> used to be attractive but nobody wants anymore. And I will feel obligated to reciprocate with a card of my own. I am such a sucker for the holidays, and not to mention polite to a fault. But the card I really <coughs> like to send is the kind with a microchip in it that you can report, record a personal message on. And upon opening the card, my voice would sing at him to the tune of, I wish you a Merry Christmas, but the lyrics would be a little different. I wish I had never met you. I wish I had never met you. I wish I had never met you. I'd be happier now. I wish I had never met you. I wish I had never met you. I wish I had never met you. I'd be happier now. Thank you. 